I'm here to tell you two things. One, that television broadcasting is not dead. And two, that it's the most sustainable delivery mechanism. And these slides are already posted online. If you uh, want to get them, it's bit.ly slash SNY as in Simpty New York, hyphen SUST as in sustainable, or you can just take a picture of the QR code. And I'll have that at the end also. Uh, people talk about comparing apples and oranges all the time, but apples and oranges are actually quite comparable. They're uh, both fruit, round, uh, they're juiced, they're healthy, they're sustainable, comparable in size and weight, but lots of other things are not so comparable. So this is the latest version of Nielsen's The Gauge about uh, total TV viewing, and um, there's no real news here. Streaming has increased, broadcast and cable have decreased, but even with the decreases, broadcast is pretty close to a quarter of the video that people are watching today, and uh, that's just for general programming. If we get to things like news, um, then here's a story that uh, local news has a 10 times larger audience than subscription video on demand. Now let me go back for just a moment to the other slide. Notice that the top streaming company is YouTube and notice in this that YouTube was not me measured in this particular survey. So again, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. When we talk about the Super Bowl, it is the number one show every year, and it is a broadcast show, and here they're saying that the audience was 113 million viewers, and then if you look down at the lower part, it says that streaming averaged 7 million viewers. So a tiny portion of what broadcast was getting is what um, streaming was getting. And even in streaming, it's hard to compare things. This is uh, something shown from SimWave, where they're measuring two streams that are both carrying the Super Bowl live. And this is a quality scale, and uh, you see quite different results from the two streams, even though there's different vertical scales. One is uh, moving around quite a bit. The other one is generally very high quality, but has a few dips to much lower quality than the uh, other one has. Meanwhile, antenna adoption is growing. And uh, so while people are cutting the cord, they are not cutting the cord to their antennas. So there is broadcast, it is substantial, and it may even be increasing. Now this slide is just to show you instructionally the difference between what people refer to as IPTV, which is a push basis. Uh, these are the, the channels that you get from your cable system or your satellite provider, something like that. And then OTT, or over the top, which is a pull basis. You request a particular program and then it comes to you. But uh, this is a project that was studying low carbon uh, television. And here are their results. And let's look at the bottom first. And uh, if you look at Sweden down at the bottom right, then the worst case for Sweden is more than four times better than the best case in the UK. And that's simply because of the way that Sweden gets its power. Uh, it's mostly from sustainable sources. Uh, the second column is for Europe in general, 28 countries. But if we look up at the top, you th see the things are much more comparable across the countries. This is how much electricity is being used. And this is excluding the TV set. But you can see that um, digital terrestrial television, of which ATSC 3.0 is an example, is uh, dramatically uh, more sustainable than, or dr uses dramatically less electricity than either um, OTT streaming or IPTV. Now, this is from <clears throat> a portion of one page out of uh, 102 from one resource that's available on uh, Barbara's site. And um, just notice the two red circles that I put in here, or the red ovals. Um, there's a hundred, more than a hundred to one difference in how much carbon they're talking about being used uh, for an hour of television. Um, so again, take this stuff with a, a grain of salt, and I recommend you read the whole report, which 
explains things better. You can click on this link if you download my slides or you can simply enter it and all you have to do is register. You don't have to pay anything and you have access to the resources from Barber's event. This is from another resource from Barber's event. Uh, this is a BBC white paper and you see that it follows basically the same thing that the LOCAT study was showing. Uh, BBC's iPlayer is streaming and that's got the highest electricity use. Uh, satellite is next highest, cable is next highest, and then terrestrial is so far down that it brings the average uh, below any of the other three simply by being there. Um, so digital terrestrial television is just remarkably sustainable. Well, what happens if we add the TV set in? So this is from the LOCAT report, and they're simply saying, okay, let's add a 56-watt television. Well, maybe that's what people are using in Europe. Uh, my TV is 96 watts, uh, but even with the 96-watt TV, that would be dramatically the, the largest part of the uh, electricity that's being used for digital terrestrial television, but streaming and IPTV, it's still going to have a significant difference even over what the TV set is drawing. Uh, also, nobody is sitting still, so ATEM is leading a consortium on making 5G more energy efficient. And uh, here is something from Alluvio's website. They have a very different way of distributing. And if you look at the next to the last thing on the right, it says they are 50% more efficient at distributing than clouds and CDNs. Um, so once again, a PDF of these slides is available at bit.ly slash SNY hyphen sust, or uh, take a picture of this QR code and you can get those slides immediately.